Hi, welcome to Real Diving's first episode of Gear Tips. Today we are going to be talking about uh, diver alert, alert markers, SMBs, a uh, little bit about what they're for, different models, sizes, colors, uh, and uh, how to choose the right one for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and start looking at some models. We're going to be starting off with uh, some of the smaller alert markers, uh, very popular models. Uh, the three foot, about one meter uh, for us, in, in, not in the US. Uh, it comes as a very tightly little package that you can easily have in your uh, pocket of your dry suit, uh, attached to a D-ring, such like this. All the Halcyon uh, SMBs have a bungee loop to uh, secure it, rolled up, and then you can just take it out, put it up and inflate them. Uh, I have beside me two uh, versions of this with the uh, different inflation mo uh, modes. So you got the uh, oral inflate here, which has a little uh, rubber piece that you blow into to inflate. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the one you can fill either orally, blow in, or you can use a uh, normal uh, inflator hose. So you can put the hose onto here and it won't catch, it doesn't get stuck. So you're gonna have to push it in to inflate. That works very nicely. Uh, all the uh, SMBs have some attachment points where you can put your uh, piece of string from a spool. Uh, that you have prepared. So you can just run it through here, you know, attach it securely, and then this way you can then send it up uh, to the surface, alerting boats and, and traffic to where your location. This kind of size uh, is suitable for sort of close to shore, fair weather, there's not a lot of waves, you just want something to, to you know, mark your position as you're coming up. Uh, and then there are a few different uh, models we're going to go through that are bigger for other purposes. Okay, so one of the simplest designs uh, of SMBs is this one, which is a completely open SMB. Here you can inflate just with your exhaust bubbles, you can use a, a air gun or your, a, an extra regulator or whatever you have. Anything, you just get air in. It's just a bag. So because it's an open design, it also doesn't need to have an over uh, pressure valve. So it becomes very compact. You can roll these up into a uh, compact uh, package that you can keep with you. Maybe you need several ones. So it's, a, it's also a bit of an old school version for those that like that. Uh, it's about 1.4 one, one, uh, meter uh, long, a little bit wider than ones we looked at before. Alright, so if we go into the bigger versions, these are uh, three different sizes, uh, slightly different. We have the super slim, which is uh, about 1.8 meter high. Uh, so it gives you a good visibility, uh, even if it's a little bit choppier, but doesn't have a huge volume. So it's quite easy still to inflate. Um, you got the big, is a uh, 1.4 meter, uh, but wider, so it's quite a good volume. And then you got the super big, which is again 1.8 meter. It's the wider one, so this is a, has a big volume. 
why would you choose to have a really big one? You can have, of course, you want the, the height to be visible in shop PCs. You got the volume as well to have a really stable platform, something that you can use uh, during perhaps long drifting deco stops. You know, we want a stable platform to, to use. Um, all of these have uh, Solus reflective materials at the top and you can also get put little messages or a, uh, a chem light in this little pocket up here for extra visibility in dark conditions. Um, and uh, other than that, the, the color you choose might be used to uh, have pre-arranged messages to the surface. Maybe you, yeah, and you have to really check this in different uh, countries, might have different ideas about what a jello or a orange bag means. So make sure if you travel that you ask the, the captain uh, what they uh, think that a jello or orange means. Pink is always a happy color uh, to me, so uh, this is my favorite one. Uh, thank you. And yeah, we're also looking at a lift bag. So uh, this has a different purpose for lifting things, as you can imagine. And here, one thing that you'll notice, you have the overpressure valve at the top here, so you can adjust your, your lift uh, as you move in the water column. Uh, so this is one uh, clear difference between an SMB and, and a lift bag. But I just wanted to, to put this in this presentation as well, so you can see a bit of differences. Okay, uh, last but not least, we need uh, some uh, piece of string to attach these to. These are uh, Halcyon Defender spools. Spools are a um, simple way of organizing your your piece of string in a nice manner. We have a 30, 45 and 60 meter uh, spool. I'm gonna put two of these away. And come back with this one. Um, they're all um, based around a simple piece of uh, Delrin. Uh, this the sign here is made so you don't uh, get caught with your fingers if you're, uh, if you, for example, have a dry gloves on. Uh, it gets a good grip, but you don't get your fingers all the way in there and get stuck when this is unrolling. Uh, um, very simple. You should always set up your own uh, spool with how you want the the. And to be so you can get a good grip with your with the gloves you're wearing and whatnot and the length you should choose the, based on the conditions you're going to be diving in um, if you have other questions on on what we talked about today or if you have suggestions for what you think our next episode should be you can comment on this video uh, or send us an email if you're interested in getting your own uh, SMB and spool after this, contact one of the Halcyon dealers in your area. Uh, and uh, happy diving! <laughs>